Hurricane Milton is coming, and we want to give all of you a heads up that even if the cell towers go down, you still might be able to communicate with your cell phone. How? We've got the news. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, here to give you an urgent mobile internet and connectivity alert related to Hurricane Milton. Now, we've talked about in the past how T-Mobile and SpaceX and Starlink were working to bring out uh, direct-to-cellular text messaging that was supposed to enter beta by the end of this year, and they've been launching the Starlink satellites with this ride-along cellular payload since the beginning of 2024. It is not ready yet, but in response to both the disaster of Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton coming to Florida, SpaceX, T-Mobile, and the FCC have all worked overtime and gotten approval and turned this on in areas impacted by Helene and all across the state of Florida to enable satellite directed cellular text messaging in advance of Milton getting here. It was actually turned on yesterday evening. So now with a T-Mobile phone, anywhere that is in Florida or in the areas with where Helene has been impacted, you can actually do satellite to phone text messaging to way whether or not there is a cell signal. Now this is still in beta testing form, still early form, it's not quite ready for full usage yet, but in an emergency situation or a natural disaster, this can and probably will save lives. So it is great to see the government and the companies all working together to get this capability out there in advance of the storm. Now, the great thing about it is you do not need any new special phone or even a software update. This, this is basically Certain Starlink satellites have a ride-along payload that is broadcasting on T-Mobile cellular spectrum. And if you are getting that signal, if there's no T-Mobile signal around, you will see instead T-Mobile by Starlink um, as your signal thing. You'll have a very weak signal, only one or two bars. You'll probably have to be outdoors or right near a window, but you will have a signal that you can use for text messaging only. So still very limited what you can do, but you can text message to your friends and family, let them know you're okay. You can get emergency help. And that is going to be there in the, the storm, even with the cell towers go down. So great work by T-Mobile, SpaceX, the FCC, getting this out there, getting this turned on and getting this enabled before it is fully ready to go. And because not enough satellites have the Starlink, the T-Mobile the ride along payload on them, it is still not 24 seven coverage. There'll be drops in coverage. You might have to wait for text messages to go through, it might take a few minutes, but it is there in advance of the storm, which is wonderful news. So this system is not just for T-Mobile customers. The T-Mobile and SpaceX are working with other carriers so that emergency alerts will go out to phones on all carriers. So push broadcast text message alerts will go out to all carriers, even if you don't have a T-Mobile phone, but only T-Mobile will have the two-way text messaging capability via this. Now, there's one other way to keep connected when the cell towers go down, if the cell towers go down, and that is if you have any recent iPhone model from uh, the iPhone 14 onwards, so the last two years and worth of iPhones have support for Oh, they've had support from the beginning for emergency satellite text messaging with a, a call center, um, so you can get emergency assistance. But as of iOS 18, which just came out three weeks ago, you now can also do text messaging and iMessages with any of these recent iPhones, regardless of your carrier. But the important thing is you have to make sure you are upgraded to iOS 18. So before power goes out or while you have the chance, check your software, go to um, settings, general software update, make sure it's up to iOS 18 or 18.0.1, the latest release, so that you'll have that capability. It will only kick in when there is no cellular or Wi-Fi, but you'll be able to continue to send just basic text messages, no photos, but you'll be able to communicate with friends and loved ones to let them know that you are okay. And well, we hope all of you are okay riding out the storm. It is a scary one. We've got friends, family, loved ones, um, and work team members that are all being impacted by these hurricanes. So this is a, a scary time. It's a good time to reach out and keep connected. Let people know you're okay. And if you need help, to reach out and get the help that you need. And it is great to see cellular and satellite technology evolving that to the point that 
Even existing regular phones without special gear will be able to get emergency alerts and emergency service and emergency communication um, straight from space. So technology is progressing. This is good news. The storm is not good news. We will be have our fingers, toes, and everything else crossed, hoping that it goes through and with minimal impact. But good luck to everyone out there and stay safe. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.